Hi you guys, it's lunchtime and we are going to make tuna. We're going to make it my favorite way, which is an Italian style way. No mayo because you guys know I do not like mayo, but I do love these flavors, which is fresh lemon, got some olive oil, celery, Italian flat leaf parsley that I've chopped up, and we're going to put this together. So. If you have home canned tuna, that's wonderful. We have it every now and then in our house, it's awesome. But if you don't, then you're gonna wanna get wild caught albacore and water. That's the best you can get, okay? Don't get anything else. Um, you're gonna either use two small cans or one can. It's about 10 ounces of tuna, that's what you wanna play with. So, I've drained these two cans. I'm gonna put it right in my bowl. Now, you can tell that this tuna is a little bit nicer and higher quality because it doesn't come out in like a million little chunks and it's not overly flaky. It's kind of like one nice, you know, bigger pieces. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and add a half a cup of celery. I'm using a fourth a cup, fourth cup, I said fourth a cup again, fourth cup as my measuring. Um, this is a fourth cup of parsley. Okay, well, So now I'm gonna pour a fourth of a cup of olive oil right on top. I want all that. And then I'm going to have the same amount of fresh lemon juice. And, and if you want, you can look at, see our little doggy, he's waiting. He's <laughs> Bowie. Um, and I'm using, look at how cute this is. Saatchi made this in ceramics class at school last year. Say hi, Saatchi. It's so cute and I love this little tool. And I'll show you why. Not just because she made it and it's super cute, but because it works really well. So, oops. It's probably gonna take, oh gosh, I'm having a problem. I'm slipping and sliding. Um, at least one and a half little lemons. But I'm gonna measure it just so that we're right on point for the recipe. Okay, so I have my little strainer because I don't want any seeds. I'm gonna pour that in. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna need to use the other half too, because these are little baby lemons. All right, that's pretty good. We want all the goodness. All right, so I'm gonna pour that right in. All right, so now I'm gonna add some pepper. This fresh black pepper. I think you gotta add the pepper according to your taste. That's my taste, that's what I like. And then just some sea salt or coast coarse kosher salt. I'm saying that by myself. I'm gonna have, now that looks about right for me. Again, you got to salt to taste of what you like. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm basically going to pick this with my fork and just break down all the tuna. And as I'm breaking it down, I'm gonna mix it together and then the tuna is gonna soak in all the lemon juice and olive oil. So I'm just gonna take a few minutes you know, like a minute or two for that. And then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all come together, okay. Okay guys, guess what happened? All the goodness, all the juices have soaked in. See, that's what it should look like. Broken down, just enough. Now, let's make a sandwich. You ready? Let's do this. So I have this beautiful little baguette or what, what would we call this? A loaf. A loaf, thank you. <laughs> That's more appropriate. It's a yeah. loaf. Baguettes are a little long. This is a sourdough loaf. Any kind of rusty, crusty bread, you know what I'm saying, is good. Or plain old white bread is good too. It's, it's whatever you like best. So I'm just going to cut a little bit. I'm going to save that for Nana. Listen to the beautiful sounds of bread being cut. Let's see if I can get this right. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm off my game right now. I don't know what's going on, but this is good. Okay, so let's get these pieces right on the plate. I'm gonna move this over. And I'm just going to put this tuna right on top of the bread. I'm gonna pick the smaller piece, right? That makes more sense. It's nice and quiet. Just the tuna. <laughs> Tuna. Just the tuna and the bread. Okay. All right, guys. It's lunchtime. So you could have an open face like that, serve it with maybe some romaine lettuce on top or a pickle on the side, and that is what's happening. All right. Bon appetit. There it is. 